Hey, pleasure good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Jeff Morgan. This is going to be a quick video on two moves made by the Miami Marlins as they bring in a former Philadelphia Philly speedster that maybe if he can stay healthy can become a good outfielder off of a bench in Roman Quinn, plus a guy that has always been solid in terms of a location specialist in the minors, just then all of a sudden has the control problems like you find some guys to be once he gets to the majors in Jimmy Yacobonis. Uh, when it comes to Roman Quinn, I think everybody, especially from the Marlins, and base knows who he is. He's a guy that can steal bases for you and field. The problem is he's not he doesn't have the best arm, but he can field in general. The problem is can he stay healthy? That's been the only biggest thing with Roman Quinn's tie career. I actually think this guy would have been a backup outfielder, at least for the Phillies, if not even a platoon center fielder, or maybe even their starter, if he was ever able to stay healthy, because it's hard to judge somebody on how, where their peak skill at is, especially when they were great for the Reading fightings, pretty good for the Iron Pigs too at, at time, but just could never stay healthy. So he's going to be an interesting guy to watch as he moves on to Miami to see if he can stay on the field down there, and they can kind of find a regimen that works the best with him, but with some guys, it's unfortunate they're just bit by the injury bug, and there's not much they can do about it. When it comes to Jimmy Yacobonis, he's a guy that in the, his entire minor league career was able to use his fastball changeup combination really well uh, to be able to kind of dot his I's, cross his T's, dot corners. But unlike some of the guys that can do that at the big league level, like a guy like Ranger Suarez, who came for the Phillies, or a Lopez, to, to compare him to somebody that's on the Marlins, uh, you you have to be able to really dot your corners to be successful with that type of repertoire and that type of pitching personality in today's game when you have all the guys that blow it at 95 to, to 102 pass guys and that, while dotting the corners at the same time, like the DeGroms and Scherzer's of the world, where Yacobonis kind of gets caught because they're starting leaving his four-seamer right over the plate or hanging his changeup, where he doesn't have a tendency to do that in the minors. He seems to grip it a little bit tight in the majors. That's just my own opinion. If maybe the Marlins are a team that are still a retooling team, but a team that I think is going to show promise this year, just like they did two years ago, if they're a team that's able to kind of find the right groove for him to get him going, then sure. But this is a very small move. So is Roman Quinn. They're both small moves for the Marlins that I would give a pretty good grade for, though, because the, the it's like B-level moves because of Quinn kind of bringing it up a scale. Because if he can stay healthy, he should be at least a valuable backup. And then Yacobonis is somebody as a reliever. Um, should probably mix in another pitch because fastball change Hasn't been affected for him at the majors. He does have a slider that he features, but maybe he should use that a little bit more. We'll see what he does going forward. But this has been a quick video on the Miami Marlins getting Jimmy Yacobonis and former Philly Roman Quinn.